everybody, hope you're all good. Join me on this dull Sunday morning. It's about 23 degrees, so it's actually quite mild, it's quite muggy. Uh, I'm on the Africa Twin. And oh god, the wind on this helmet with that screen is awful. I'm just I'm getting buffeted so badly compared to my other Pete's <coughs> helmet. I thought this would be better, but not to worry, it's fine. <coughs> right. Just off to meet the Biggs man. Biggs here is in the hood. So the Biggs Meister on is on his R1. Uh, just meeting at the pet shop. And then we're off to Ducati and he's going to test ride a, a Hyper Motard, is it 939, the newer one? And he's got his eye on a... Oh, there's the Biggs man. He's got his eye on the SP version that's in the, uh, in the showroom. Yeah, he's the Biggs Meister. Good to see you. Jacket. It's a summer one, look, not one, look. It keeps cold in that. Fully, uh, fully, um, oh, mate, could have done with that in Spain, it was so hot. So cold. so cold. Do you have that on your mountain bike in France? Did you wear it then? No, 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 no it's just. Oh, yeah, it's all vented. It's all vented. I've got, I've got it on KM Hideout. It's got it for me. It's all that, when you fall off, that goes hard. Yeah, it's the D3O stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Full Kevlar. So nice. I'm getting out, mate. Jesus. How are you, all right? Yeah, good. I'm all air bagged up. Doot. Yeah, the canister's in there, look. Wait, they won't just go off if you'd like. No, no, you've got to be doing over 10 miles an hour. 10? Yeah. So, yeah, they're really hot. There's no vents apart from that, so they are very warm. But, yeah, it works. Well, you don't know if it works until you fall off. <laughs> How's your bike? Oh, mate, I've been using it, I thought I can't clean it. Oh man, look at it. I've been going to Steven's back every day on it, missing and it doesn't matter. What? Well, that's what we're doing. Right, ride that. I've, I've emailed uh, Paul. Just now, but I want to... Yeah, but it's good to test ride some different bikes. Yeah. Let's we'll see what you like. Well, yeah. they've got a, they've got a demo normal hyper motard. I've got an SP in the showroom. Yeah, you said last night. So yeah, we'll have a look. Yeah. And I can take out what I want. I can yeah. I'll probably take the take probably take the super sport out again. I might have got on that. No. Well, we can swap over. Yeah. You're covered for every bike. So we'll we'll get there now, and hopefully he didn't get my email. Someone could have taken the hyper motard out, but we don't know till we get there. Yeah. But if we go there now, we're early, so. It's on the open level. What? Yeah. yeah. So man, yeah, good. <laughs> Your tyres are alright. It's fine, it's fine. I want that. But, yeah, but my other one's in the showroom now. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying you use that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll use this quite a bit. Pump it. No, it doesn't matter, but you can clean it. It's not got salt on it. It's fine. No, it's just dirt. It's motorway. No, it's roads, isn't it? Mate, it's fine. It's good to see you. Yeah. No one else was around. No one responded to my... Are you around, apart from Gary and Mr. Hayes, the other guy? No one else bothered to reply to me, so... Well, I yeah. Well, yeah, man, it's cool. Let's, let's get going. Right. Got Bigsy behind me on his R1. As I said, we're just off to Ducati. To check out the Hyper Motard. He's thinking of selling the R1, as I was saying earlier. This wants something a bit different. I think he's tested a GSXR Suzuki, and now he's doing the Hyper Motard, which is very different to a sports bike, as Matt knows with his SP. But it's nice to have something different. So hopefully, well, we're hoping that they haven't sent someone out on the Hyper Motard. I did email Paul yesterday. It was quite late in the day, so hopefully he's got my email. He knows I'll turn up when I say I'm going to turn up. So no problem. It's a, it's a really mild day, it's not very sunny, but actually for riding, it's better not to have bright sun in your face. Excuse the wind noise through the mic on this helmet, because I've got some real serious 
wind going up inside the helmet. It must be something to do with something from around here. It doesn't do it on the uh, 959. Nice leggings. <laughs> We're meerkatting. Bigsy's meerkatting that bird. Oh dear, it's funny. <laughs> right, just heading to Ducati, just around the corner. Hope Paul's there. Yeah, just a shout out to Ducati Cambridge, they're brilliant. Letting you borrow bikes and just ultra friendly. They do have a they have the odd sort of staff problem without enough people there to work in to help them out, but they never get stressed, they just get on with it. <clears throat> it's brilliant. Really, really good dealership, and it's on my doorstep pretty much. I can get here in about 10 minutes, but I always go the long way around because it's a nicer uh, it's a nicer route to take. So just coming up to it now. Oh, it's like my dad. It's, it's the Vespa gang. It's the scooter gang. Yeah, I think the fueling's out a little bit. It, yeah, it's uh, pops and bangs a bit too much. But it's, it's fine. I'm not worrying about it. So there's the SP. I think the Bigs Meister quite likes it. He needs a better pipe on it. But yeah, it's in the showroom. Hopefully the demo's out there somewhere we can have a go on the demo. Yeah, we shall, we shall see, but it's yes, good bike. But you are tall, you know, you're, what, you're six foot? Yeah. Six foot six? Just you so are. forward after that old one. Doesn't it? Yeah, but you get so used to it. Matt, Matt's got used to his. Is he? Yeah. He's totally used to it. It's a different thing completely. But you loved it. But we'll have to see what demos there are. Never know. Yeah. Right, we've got the we've got the most standard monster, not the S, to try. So Big going to try that. And I'm on I'm on the Super Sport, which I've ridden before. So and we can swap over, so we'll stop, let's get some fuel and get rolling. Right, there's Big Z in front on the Monster 1200. But remember this has got a double quick shifter. Oh, neutral is always a bastard on these. Oh, let's leave it in gear. It's <laughs> awesome. That, that, I can't get that in neutral. That is such a bitch to be in neutral. Mate, I'm sorry, I thought it was the S. Which, yes, the you S you get, you, you've got a double quick shift on the S and you've got full Olins. But it, same power, same engine. Oh, how nice it's ride. I know, I know. Because oh. every bike you could ever need. I can't do it. <laughs> That's that's pretty comfy as well, but you've been not used to a sports bike. Yeah. Right, let's get some fuel. Oh, these bikes are filthy. They would sit out in the rain. Uh, hello. Standard unleaded will do. Hello, work. Oh, these, these these are catty, are really hard to put fuel in sometimes. Oh shit, I've gone over. It's all right. That sounds amazing, isn't it? Mate, I can't believe it. It's nice to hear it when someone else is on it. Sounds brilliant. Standard cans as well. Termies sound really loud, like really, really loud. All right. Completely different bike, it's going to take time. Well, I mean, the green man. Yeah, they're both great bikes. 
It's just what you want out of a bike. It's lovely around corners and that. Yeah. It's lovely on a mountain bike. It's just so <laughs> 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 Lovely house back there, Westgate House. Right, we're going to head to Orwell, a little village up here, and then we are going to head back, go to a pub for a, have a coke and have a chat about the bikes. What we think, and then we'll head back to Chiquetti. Yeah, I think Bixie does, he does like it. I think he's up, he's up for the... Uh, he likes the nakedness of the 1200. Lots of push bikes up here, I've already spotted them. Goes. He doesn't look too big on that actually, but he does suit him. I think oh, Gary wants to take out a DFL at some point, and the DFL X will have to do that another Sunday. It's something that's on his Christmas list, I'm sure. Right, we'll swap bikes in a minute. It's good to come out together because Big Z is coming out on your own and test riding bikes is really boring. It's nice to come with somebody else and you get to ride two different bikes at once as well, which is double the fun. Right, let's pull over here. Let's see if we can get this bloody... Oh my God, I'm in neutral. Oh my God, I'm in neutral. Yeah, let's have a swap over. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we'll head to that pub where we stopped in Triplo. Have a drink. Yeah, hi, yeah. We're right for time, do that. What do you think about that fork? Yeah, I will. Yeah, don't forget, double quick shifter on this. So, I'll, I'll pull you up there. Yeah, and you can go by me a bit if you see a straight, but yeah, there's a few bikes about as well, push bikes, but. Yeah, that's a lot of push bikes though. Yeah, you have to give this a few beans, it's got a lot less power. Oh my god, I've got to remember to change gear on this. But, sorry, I've got to remember to use the clutch. It hasn't got a quick shifter. Ah, oh, nice to be on the monster again. Feels good. Yeah, it feels good. I love Barrington, what a lovely little village. Oh, I just <laughs> changed down without the uh, clutch. That, this house here is just stunning, I love that house. I haven't braked hard yet, I haven't tried it out. I'll try it. The bloody deer run out up here on the way uh, through here earlier, but it ran out two in front of two other cars that were in front of us. Well, you don't run out in front of you on a bloody motorbike, that's for sure. It was just up here, what bloody thing.
It is a bit divey. <laughs> Not my cup of tea, the Super Sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's comfortable. The big did not make it. I thought it's behind me. It didn't make it out of the junction, it's my fault. Should have. There goes Big Z, the super sport. I think he likes it. No, I think we've gone the wrong way. I'll have to, I'll have to turn around about that way. Mr. Turning. Quality ride isn't as good as the S model. That's my imagination, but maybe this road's really shite. But and when you're gunning it, head down, it makes such a difference to have a quick shifter. Just that, just that bang bang, not keep reaching up and pulling the clutch in and clutch out. Right, where are we? Hang on, man. Went the wrong way. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, I do love that. Both good bikes. Both really good bikes. What? It don't change down very well, does it? Bit bit jerky. Yeah, I do like that. I think I've on that a lot, under high speed. But the Olin one, I suppose it would be just all fine. I've just realised that hasn't got the good brakes on it. That 1200 Monster's got the standard brakes. Everyone's one has got the real Panigale brakes on it. Oh, right. The M50s, but those brakes on the Monster feel sharper than they do on the uh, Super Sport, but they're exactly the same brake system. It's horses for courses, isn't it? But you could roll those two bikes out now, and then ride the Hypermotile and go, I quite like that. Yeah. And sorted. You might like the high like mode hard. Not like it. I like the wild position of the monster. Yeah, you do feel like that, but the high mode hard is very similar. You're quite sort of on the bars. Yeah. Yeah, but that's yeah. That's a different. But the noise monster sounds better. It's oh, it's got a lot more, but you can feel the power, can't oh, yeah. you? Whoa, talk like wow. Oh, quite unbelievable. Compared to the Super Sport, yeah. it's talky, but there's another, I don't know, it's about 30, 40 less horsepower. So we have to get you on the Hyper Motard, get you on that. Do that another Sunday. Birds. Do it in the week, actually. You don't have to work. I yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. Uh, no, not really, just six, I think. Right. I'll go pros on. Let's head back to Ducati. Pardon? Right, then I, yeah, you can set it up. Yep. When you start it, it'll just, it will stay in sport mode, I think.
the you can't get it in neutral, it's impossible. You have to go down with that lever there, look. And then exit. Oh no, it's in touring. What's it doing? Maybe... Ah, oh, here you go, here you go. Hey! It means the throttle will be more jerky. I'll follow you, you know your way back, don't you? Oh, I'll cut, come by, you can come by me a bit. Head back to Ducati. Ah, oh, it's got stuck. Uh, speed bump. Oh. See the Olins on this. It just seems to soak up the bumps better. I guess this is a similar setup to uh, maybe a similar setup to the Monster uh, 1200 S. the edge to the suspension with the Olings. Never thought it makes a difference but this is definitely a nicer ride than that the stand monster, there's no question. Still not sure on that engine warning light but I can do till I get back to Ducati. So yeah, whether whether Bigsy bless him, whether he likes both of these bikes or not, it doesn't matter. It's about trying the bikes to see what you like. Might be bits of the bike you like, you think, ah, oh, my next bike needs to have a double quick shifter, or it needs to have Olins, it needs to have this and that. It doesn't matter, it's about trying as many bikes as you can to see how you feel. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I'm gonna stick pigs. Pigeon! Oh, traffic. I think you just said that. <coughs> It just said the monster comes alive in sport mode, it just, yeah, it's, when you're gunning it, it's probably a lot better, better throttle response. But when you're in town and going slowly, <coughs> it's probably not so good. Right, back at Ducati, Ducati. It's got the same power. What? It's got the same. What's that on your visor? Big, big. <laughs> it's got the same power, but probably better throttle response. Yeah, mild I took off on the speed bump that was yeah. on the way earlier. I didn't know it was there. That's definitely a, a, a jerkier ride. It's not as smooth as that. No, no, definitely jerky. Not quite. Yeah, 
both good bikes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, I'm on the R1. Thinks he's on the tw Africa Twin, I'm on the R1. What an amazingly smooth engine. It's unbelievable. And the ride, this isn't the M version. It's not electronic dampers, but it's got such a nice, such a nice ride. Really, really nice. No, I love it. And, it, and it's way more comfy than my Panigale. That's for sure. Oh, what a great bike. It's got some serious power. It's got a... Uh, it's got a quick shifter, but not a down blipper. Yeah, it's such a good bike this is. We'll see why people like the R1. But it's got the smoothest, silkiest engine out. And like instant mad power. Really, really, really good power. It's just, it's comfortable. Definitely more comfortable than the uh, Panigale. No question. I think Biggs, he's, he's commuting to see his girlfriend quite a bit at the moment. He just said this is hard work on the commute, which I could totally understand. So that's why he's after something a bit more comfy. But still, it's going to be a bit of fun. Hence, maybe Hyper Motard, Monster. He's going to ride all sorts of different bikes, Suzuki's, Kawasaki's see how he feels speed camera it's good for Bigsy to ride the Africa Twin as well to get an idea of what that kind of bike's like but it's a very soft very 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 soft bike great for my commute to work every day but I think this is the fastest bike I've ever ridden no question Awesome piece of kit. It's not bad. The suspension is, yeah, it's not bad. Not sure what the little gauges are on the right-hand side of the of the display. The display is lovely. I think it's a, you know, your sensor or something like that. I, I don't know gauge to show you I'm not sure what it is right it's been a brilliant run out I've got to ride three different bikes which is really cool in fact in including this uh, good to get Bigsy out, just the two of us, no one else was around. I think my bro went clay pigeon shooting so he wasn't around. There goes the Bigs Meister <laughs> on the Epic Twin. Oh, we have a combine. You wouldn't want to meet that, definitely would not want to meet that on a bend. Oh, come on, you bloody idiot. What are you doing? Ah, oh, fuck it. You've got to be actually stupid. Yeah. 
Are you actually demented? What are you doing? You've got to pull over there. No, but you go round the hole to the left, look. You go over to the side. No, you can pull over forwards there now, look. It'd be fine. <laughs> We're going off-road. <laughs> she was, bless her, I was going to shout at her and have a go at her, but she was actually really worried about going into a hole. So, I didn't shout. Just to just go to the left and miss that massive hole out. The combine had waited so she could get round at the, that passing place or that little gap. Like that lady shouldn't be on the road really if they can't judge things like that she was panicking and then got out of her car i thought she's going to get out of her car and start going mad at the bloke in the combine but no she was just worrying about what to do she didn't know she was scared bless her heart so yeah at least i told her what to do I don't think she actually listened to me but i'm not sure Right, let's go to the pet shop. Let's go to the pet shop. Ah, oh, I did my driving test. My driving test. I did my motorbike test back there. The driving something agency, whatever it is. It says it's doing 27.3 to the gallon. My 959 averages about 40, never really dropped below that. So this is, I don't know if it's because of the power, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not very fuel efficient, but who cares, we've well, got 200 brake horsepower. I am in C mode, because he said to keep it in C mode, it's nice and smooth. So that's what I've done, I haven't changed it. Love it. It's lovely. What? Gear change, the ride. Oh, Mate, it's so much more comfy than a Panigale. Is it? Yeah. I'm sort of in awe of it. What was that woman doing? She panicked. Yeah. And what do I do? What do I do? She said. This is lovely, isn't it? The boat in the combine was like this. Yeah. This is lovely, isn't it? It's just, yeah, but the seat goes up to here, really high. It's just a tour, isn't it? It's just smooth. It's only a twin engine as well, so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's for what, for what I use it for. It's brilliant. But but that that is brilliant. That is such a good bike. That's no, brilliant. Nice. What the screen is little gauges on the right, is that to do with uh, right. on the right hand side? Um, the, the little graph bit. Yeah. Little, what's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your um oh, I don't really know. Is it to do with the it's got a pitch in your thing when you go around the corner, is it like pulling see how far you lean over, lean angle? Oh yeah. But it's got power in it. Need, yeah, just a bit. Yeah, we'll work out when we get the hyper motard. Yeah, and we'll go from there, dude. Yeah. Keep in touch, dude. See you later. 
Get the big seat. Right, leaving the pet shop. Right, Biggs is off home. I'm off home. I've recorded the F1 Grand Prix at Silverstone, so I'll go back and have some lunch and sit and watch the start of that. And probably knowing me, within about 10 minutes, I'll probably fall asleep because I'm getting old and I keep falling asleep. My half tells me off, why are you going to sleep again on the sofa? I said, oh, I can't help it. I'm old. Oh, this feels weird after the R1. Really weird. So yeah, Biggs has got to borrow the hypermotard. That's his next plan of action. So we'll ring, we'll talk to Paul. We should talk to Paul and get the hypermotard over. And it'd be nice if he could get the A1200, the Monster 1200S over from Peterborough because the suspension on that is so much nicer than the standard model more than I'd ever, uh, god, more than I've ever even thought it would be so yeah I don't go any faster than this because bloody my eardrums explode because of the wind shooting up the helmet so yeah, great morning Good to be with Big Z, testing out the bikes, just working out what he likes and what he doesn't like. It's as simple as that, ride as many types of bikes as you can. It, that's all you've got to do. And just work out what you what you want out of a bike. That's all you've got to do. And that's what he's doing. So, yeah, we'll see why he loves the R1. But I can also see why if he's doing more community and he wants to get rid of it and get something else. What the hell's that in the sky? That's oh, a micro light. Or is it a little plane? I can't work out what the hell that is. Micro light, I think, yeah. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this vid, guys. Bit of fun. Wasn't anything too crazy. So take it easy. I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.